Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and in this video I want to show you our HTTP library, which is a part of Forge. So if you look at this HTTP object, I have the REST test script. And the REST test script, basically, it, once I press spacebar, it's going to create an HTTP object, set it to Google, and do a git request on it. So let's see it in action real quick, and we'll explain some of the uh, high-level parts. So I'm going to press play. Over here, I'm going to click or not click, I'm going to press spacebar, and you'll see that I get the response from Google with all their, uh, with basically their web page. And I can do this multiple times. This is multi-threaded, so it doesn't hold up the game thread. And you see each time I do it, we'll get a response. So, uh, just to go over the git request really quick, basically you create an HTTP object. You can have a cached one up here that sits in uh, memory, or you can create one at live runtime. You can specify the URL here. There is an optional parameter for headers, so you can pass your uh, headers that you want that are specific to whatever request you're doing. Uh, this request we're doing is a git request. The first argument is a callback, which we actually have as a lambda expression here. I could also make it a function because it's a callback. And the second argument is a git string, so git string parameter, something I'd put inside of the URL. Uh, and these are just an array of strings. So uh, that's our git. There's also a post, um, so you do a, a post request as well. So it's worth noting that in your git string here, uh, it would look something like new string array, and then your git string would actually have the equal signs in it. So we'll say like uh, watch equals 10. Uh, then the next parameter would be hat equals cat, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how you'd pass in your git string. So uh, this is a basic overview of HTTP request. You can go ahead and play around with it and uh, do your REST request with it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.